hi, it's Editing Tree. Um, evidently I did not, like, open or close intro or outro this video. So, but, I got a package from Noble Demons today. Um, I ordered some stuff from their, her last, mm, uh, from Noble Demons last shop update. And I have a couple more things coming from pre-order. But, however, this came today. I wasn't expecting it until tomorrow, so I'm very excited. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So pretty. Alright. And please, the, the color of Noble Demons, even like mailers, is just so good. So, first thing... The first is, I think these are the stickers in this little dotted bag, so I approve already. Lots of things that I can use later. Okay, so first thing, the first is the child stickers. I want a pillow and like a shaker charm, but we're starting with stickers, which says, and it's a mimetic, uh, do not break glass, the AC is on and he's, and he has water and is listening to his favorite music. So, I got one for me and I got one for no. There's this freebie pen, I love pens, that has the noble demon themselves in their summer garb. It's one of those like liquid pens. It's really cute. I really like it. I was kind of hoping I would get one, but I wasn't sure if what I was doing qualified for the freebie, so I did not hope. Well, I hoped, but like not in a way that meant that was active hoping. Okay. This is the bag the things came in. It is so good. I love fancy little bags. Noble's adorable business card. Mm, this is a, a bread frog for Gnome. Because Gnome's birthday was recent and Gnome is a fun. Can't talk. Is a fan of frogs. I got myself. A noble pin because I love noble and <laughs> sorry I'm reading the packaging oh, how do I open you there we go I have to find the end of these things sometimes and my first shaker charm of Alligator Loki Croaky, but he has in his in his belly he has if you can see it. I haven't removed the sticker yet. Um, the other Loki's hand, the vote for Loki, and the Tesseract. So that's very exciting for me. Because quite possibly one of my favorite things to come out of the MCU in, like, ever. And, uh, in pre-order because I, I wasn't smart enough to figure out how pillows worked on Noble's site. It's my bad. I have a small plushie of our friend here, as well as one of, uh, Noble's mushy, uh, Crocs. Because, um, Crocs and mushrooms are things I enjoy. I love crocodilians. They're so good. So that 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 is the stuff I ordered. And I love that Noble has these little things to remind you to take off the, the, the film on your charm because the film is there to protect your charm in transit. I'm so happy. And now here's the rest of the video.
hi, it's me, Tree. As usual, compressed by in all my stuff. I feel like the uh, trash lady from uh, bleh. the trash lady from Labyrinth, not the trash lady from uh, Fraggle Rock. That is in a completely different vibe. But I am back on my crocheting bullshit. I, I'm trying to get my hands used to crocheting again because I want to teach myself how to do like granny squares because I literally know like three maybe four stitches in crochet. What I do isn't really crochet so much as scrumbling, which is fine. Um, it works for what I do with it. But I want to make like pretty like almost man mandala like granny squares for a, a, a series I have an idea for. So that is the thing. And it's particularly fun because since I don't actually read pattern as yet, um, because I'm left-handed and I learned from my gran who was also left-handed. <laughs> so most crocheting things are right-handed, which is hard when you're left-handed for it. Like, I'm so left-handed when it comes to crocheting that when I try to crochet right hand, I fall out of chairs, which is wild <laughs> and I'm very distracted and distractible today. So uh, I'm gonna go and teach my, try and teach myself how to do granny squares. Hello, it's me, Tree again, again, again. Um, it's been like a couple days since I talked to the camera. I, I clearly scrubbed my little goblin self, so yay for that. Um, but I was going to teach myself how to granny square. Now remember, I am dyslexic, <laughs> I do not read pattern, and I crochet left-handed, which means that all the tutorials are not really super helpful for me because they're all by right-handed people. But look at this magnificent bastard I made. I figured it out. I have conquered it. And now I can do shenanigans with it. I'm very excited. He's so beautiful. Look at him. And I get to play some variegated yarn that's like my favorite colors too. So I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Waffles is very happy. Um, other things. What are other things? <sighs> of course, where I've been writing other things is currently underneath you. <sighs> I'm really bad about remembering to use tripods. I want to do a shop drop. Shop drop. It just occurred to me that that rhymes. It's never occurred to me that rhymes before. Oh boy. My, my, my brain is all over the place today. Don't mind me. Um, I want to do like an October shop drop with like spooky things in it and maybe run a draw, draw October draw Halloween again, but I haven't decided what that would look like yet. I mean, I have like a list of things I've written down. Uh, last year I did moths and mushrooms, which I suppose I could always do something like that again where it's like critter or bug oriented or flower oriented. That's not a bad idea. Do like goth flowers. Hmm. I have a thought. But yeah, thinking about that. Though I think I'm only gonna do one this year because doing two and I did them digitally was a lot, a lot of work. It was an extreme amount of work. And while I did it and did it well, um, was not necessarily something I, I, I feel like doing again. It's, I've done this before, like, a couple years ago, I did, um, Mythic May and Mermaid at the same time, and it's, like, while it's really good practice, boy howdy, you kind of want to get yourself into abyss when you're done. But yeah, the, the shop truck, it's like, it's one of those things that people don't really purchase my stuff. Which is fine. I mean, there's a lot of, like, other artists who probably have way cooler stuff than I do. 
but it makes it hard to want to like make new physical merch um, when people don't buy what I make and it's like it's part of the reason why I'm kind of like leaning away from doing cons aside from you know the neighborhood pandemonium um, is because I didn't usually break even on them it's like I liked going well I don't know if I'd say I liked going to them I don't like people and I don't like I have discovered late here in my life that I'm not overly thrilled to travel but you know I it was nice to see people and talk to them about my art and stuff and but largely I wasn't like breaking even and was making myself and my partner who was going with me to all these things because you know I need a booth babe um, kind of miserable so leaning away from doing them also janky limbs that do not like to work I don't know things to think about things to consider I'm trying to do more like digital words digital download things for my patreon but you know and maybe lure people into my patreon because I have like levels of my patreon that are like stickers and prints and stuff and it's like you know a, a low-key way to like do the physical merch thing but it requires like people to join my patreon and again people have good reasons to do a thing or to not do a thing and everyone should do what's right for them but i'm evidently going to sit here and whine extremely yep i, I should go because this is all just like me being a whiner but granny square Okay, bye. So, I made a bunch of doctor's appointments today, ironically. Oh, they're all on the same day, which didn't know that was going to be an option I was going to have. But, um, they're like wellness things for my flesh prison that are going to cause all sorts of dysphoria and dysmorphia, so... Yay me. But I have I have scheduled them. I'm going to do it. My doctor is going to be proud of me and I want her to be proud of me because I really like my GP. But I am freaked out. <laughs> and I'm probably going to be freaked out until I ha go to those appointments. Luckily, unluckily, they're this month. They're at the end of the month. So, yay. I don't like this flesh person. And like, one of them is... For parts of my body, well, actually both two of them, two of the three, are for parts of my body I wish I didn't have. So, I don't know, maybe I can talk to, to my GP and see about getting rid of at least one of them. Okay, I'm going to go freak out quietly and wait for the post to get here so I can do an unboxing of my art snacks for September. That wasn't supposed to sound sarcastic. I think I, I was making fun of myself for sounding like a YouTuber. And this is just absurd. My, my hair has reached the point where the it's long enough in the front where I can pull it up, not long enough in the back, and it's bothering me. And I, at the I want to shave my head again stage. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye.
in the can't talk. It's three in the afternoon. And it's really sunny outside, and this is how dark our front room is. Which is fine with me because I have light sensitivity. But at the same time, it's like, boy, how is it dark, dark in here all the time? This is why I can't keep plants alive. Hello, welcome back to Editing Tree and the outro. So I hope that was enjoyable. Uh, if you did enjoy it, maybe consider like, commenting, subscribing, or sharing the 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 random joy that is me. <laughs> I don't know. That was weird. Um, and the birds are yelling outside. What is that thing? Friendly reminder that I do have a store and I take commissions. I have a shop. It is on my website at tentacleMateStudios.com. Uh, I have a Kofi and a Patreon. I am Tentacle Studios at both of those places. As well as pretty much any sock med, you're going to find me at Tentacle Made Studios or Tentacle Made, including now Artfall. Because I also take commissions. My commission prices are also on my website in my shop, but they're also on my, uh, in my Instagram highlights and on my Twitter. I mean, if you want to, like, financially support me, that is cool, but don't feel required to. Uh, you know, you do you. You have, you know what you need to do. But whatever it is that you choose to do, know that the world is better for having you in it. So do good, be kind, be brave, encourage.